Hello and welcome to the Virtual Contemporary Chorale. My name is Melanie Moore and I'm the Artistic Director of the Chorale. We are the premier community choir of Richardson, Texas and we are excited to celebrate our 60th anniversary. One of the ways we are going to do this is by a giant celebration on May 14th, 2016 and we'd like you to be a part. No matter where you are, you can sing with us. The last time we did a virtual chorale, we had singers from all across the United States, Australia, and Norway. So don't let your location scare you. You can be a part of us. Let me tell you a little bit about how this works. We have uploaded a, a conducting video, music, and learning tracks to our website. Once you have selected your voice part, then you go in you sing as many times as you need to. You get your voice part down. When you're ready to record, you put on earphones or earbuds, whichever works for you. Make sure they're plugged in all the way so that we can't hear the accompaniment at all on the outside. And then you video yourself singing your voice part. You upload that to our website and our video producer puts all of those together into a giant video and we, the live chorale, will sing along with you, the virtual chorale. It's really kind of neat. The song that I have chosen for the virtual chorale is entitled When I Hear Music. It's a lovely piece of music by Michael Martin and we feel that the words fully demonstrate how we feel when we sing. Thus, it is the name of our spring show and we think that you're gonna like it, it's really pretty. Let me give you a few little notes on some very specific things. Uh, first of all, in the chorale, we work to always incorporate tall, beautiful vowels, very crisp, clean consonants, lots of um, phrasing. We're very careful where we take our breaths and where we don't take our breaths, which is probably the most important thing of all. And also, um, we want to be very, very clean with our cutoffs, very direct. So with that in mind, when you're watching the video, you'll see me conduct. For these purposes, sopranos will be this direction, basses, tenors, and altos. So I will look in those general directions as I am conducting if I need to cue a specific part. If you look at the music, measure nine. There's a rhythmic thing that I'd like to make very clear here. The rhythm for the, for the voices would be beauty, a melody. The piano part plays D, 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 D. Two different things. So make sure that you are saying a uh, before that piano note happens, all right? That's the first thing I'd like to make clear. The next place I'd like to call to your attention, this, this cue is directly for the basses, okay? Measure 24 basses. You come in very cleanly on the downbeat with the word you've. The other voice parts don't come in until beat two. So make sure that you're very solid right there because we need to lean on that. The next place is over on page 6, measure 36. You will see two little lines after measure 36. Kind of look like this. That's a susurro, which means basically cease or stop. So we'll conduct that measure, we'll, we'll be one. You've left an imprint, fermata, break, downbeat. You've left an imprint on my heart. Okay, see how that works? You'll also see um, many places where I tell you to keep going. Don't take a breath. I try to make very clear where I want you to take a breath. And on the learning tracks, I tell you specifically, don't breathe, breathe. It should be very clear. Okay, now it's your turn. The rest of it is up to you to learn your voice part. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to contact us through our website, which is 
thecontemporarychorale.org. Hope to see your video soon. Thanks for participating.